Welcome to the latest installment of Jeffco Prepped with Ploys. We'll kick things off at Lakewood Memorial Field. Wheat Ridge faced off against Skyview in girls soccer action. Wheat Ridge senior Molly Kratzer had a great scoring chance, but couldn't put this one in the back of the net. However, the senior who is headed to Regis University next fall eventually had a hat trick during the 10-2 victory for the Farmers. Emily Brown equaled her teammate in the scoring department. The freshman forward tallied three goals in the scoring fest for the Farmers. Wheat Ridge also honored longtime coach Dan Watkins at halftime. The game marked the 300th varsity girls soccer match Watkins has coached during his 20 plus years at Wheat Ridge. We stay with the Farmers, but switch over to the baseball diamond. Wheat Ridge senior pitcher Aaron Arikles dominated on the mound against Arvada West in a non-league game. The Farmers ace through a complete game while striking out 10 batters in a 5-1 win. A West senior Liam Spa provided the Wildcats their lone run with this RBI double off the wall in the fourth inning. Wheat Ridge got its bats going with a three-run bottom of the sixth inning. P.J. DeWitts and Kyle Rad got the bats going to extend the Farmers lead. Junior Sam Stahl took care of the base running, scoring all the way from first base on a pair of throwing airs. A deep fly ball to center field was caught by Wheat Ridge senior Anthony Tate to end the game. Next, we head over to the North Area Athletic Complex for a pair of intriguing Class 5A girls soccer matchups on opening night of conference play. Chatfield and Ralston Valley squared off in the first match. The Chargers and Mustangs both had their scoring chances, but neither could find the back of the net. After 80 minutes of regulation time and a pair of 10-minute overtime sessions, the league match ended in a scoreless tie. In the second match of the night, Columbine senior Tessa Barton got the Rebels off on the right foot. Barton's penalty kick goal in the first overtime period lifted Columbine to a 2-1 victory over Arvada West. The Rebels are trying to win a sixth straight 5A Jeffco league title. We stay at the Knack but jump over to the football stadium for some boys lacrosse action between Ralston Valley and Golden. Golden's Kyle Desgenerans and Ralston Valley's Calvin Doucette put on goalie scoring clinics in a low-scoring affair. Ralston Valley senior Samuel Burnings fires home a goal here to give the Mustangs a lead, but Golden would answer. Golden sophomore Ben Kirshner ties things up here with a great shot past Doucette. Ralston Valley freshman Lane Kellogg puts in the eventual game-winning goal to give the Mustangs a 4-3 victory. It was the first time Ralston Valley has ever defeated Golden in boys lacrosse. We finish off this month with a good representation of the Colorado spring weather. Chatfield and Castleview Douglas County girls lacrosse battled it out on a chilly Saturday afternoon at Trailblazer Stadium. The Chargers stayed hot with their sixth straight victory. Chatfield won 17 to 4. The weather even got more interesting in the second game between Evergreen and Dakota Ridge. The entire first half was played in a winter wonderland. Dakota Ridge junior Rachel Steinman puts in one of the Eagles' two goals in the first half. Evergreen sophomore Mallory Bowman wouldn't be denied in the opening half. She scores here to help give the Cougars an 8-2 lead at halftime. Fog replaced the snow in the second half, but the Cougars still had a clear path towards another conference win. Evergreen senior Claire Dolan maneuvers her way to a goal in the 14-8 win for the Cougars. For more Jeffco coverage, check out chassanow.com forward slash Jeffco and follow us on Twitter at Jeffco Athletics. <laughs>